There's a story in this picture. It's actually alive. And I'm not just talking about the vibrant blue color or the brush strokes. It's literally a live human being. I covered him in paint in a way that would make him look like a two-dimensional painting. Everything in this scene is covered, the walls, the floor, the shoes. I can take any space and create an immersive 360 painted environment that you can walk into, you can photograph it from any angle, and the illusion still holds up. Now, I didn't come up with this idea at art school. I studied political science. I was actually a huge political nerd. I grew up in DC, I'd interned on the Hill, I'd worked for political campaigns. But then, during my senior year of college, while I was studying poli-sci, I had this idea. I wanted to know, what would it look like if I put black paint down on shadows? I just thought shadows were cool, and I wanted to see if I could make my own. And then I thought, all right, that was kind of an interesting experiment. What would happen now if I brought that to the human body? What if I take my friend Bernie and paint not just the shadows on him, but also the highlights, and create a mapping of light directly onto his body? Start painting, and I look up, and all of a sudden, I turned my friend into a painting. I had no idea that was going to happen. It totally caught me off guard. I was one week away from graduation. My plan was to go back to Washington, D.C., work on the Hill. I'd had that all very carefully laid out. And then this changed everything. I decided that instead of getting a job in politics, sitting behind a desk, I would make my job hanging out in my parents' basement, <laughs> learning how to paint. But I didn't want to paint on canvas. I didn't want to copy the old masters. I was really interested in light, shadow, space, and just how to capture the essence of things, and even if that meant the essence of a grapefruit. And literally, the essence of the grapefruit, the acid, that ate through my brush strokes, brush stroke by brush stroke. So I had to just like pile paint on it as fast as possible and take a picture in order to maintain it. A lot of my friends, they were still doing the politics thing, and they kept on trying to convince me to get a real job. They didn't understand that putting paint on grapefruits was a real job. <laughs> and all these naysayers, it was really hard to find models. Like, no one really understood why they needed to have paint in their ears as part of a life experience. So I ended up doing a lot of my practicing, early honing of my skills by painting directly on top of myself. I've learned that I can paint in practically any style, and it'll still hold up the illusion of a two-dimensional painting. There's no Photoshop. I just love creating these juxtapositions between 2D and 3D spaces that really make you have to look again. And especially in the case of on the DC Metro, you're going to want to look again. <laughs> this picture, it's just one frame, and yet it has a story in it. You feel something. And when I have my canvases as a human body, Story is inevitable. And I want to introduce you guys today to a collaborator of mine, John Bugs, and he uses his body as a canvas as well. John? <laughs> All right, he's going to tell you about our collaboration. Give it up for Alexa. So, a little over a week ago, Alexa and I, we released a short film entitled Color of Reality. Now, my whole inspiration behind directing and writing this film was to simply heighten awareness around some of the critical issues that we have going on in our society. So in the beginning, beginning, beginning stages of me writing the treatment and writing the storyline, I took notice to some of the tragedies that were happening around the world and in the United States, from the massacre that happened in Orlando to the shootings in Dallas to what happened in Baton Rouge. And I came up with this conclusion that if we don't start coming together as a human race and stop judging each other off skin color or sexual orientation, that these senseless acts of violence are going to continue to happen. Uh, I decided to combine my movement artistry with the amazing 2D style of painting that Alexa does to create a compelling narrative that would hopefully inspire people to take action against these acts of violence. Uh, to me, movement artistry is not just dance. It's a tool. It's a universal language. It's a tool to empower people. It's a tool to cleanse the spirit. It's a tool that can help break down social, economic, geographic boundaries. Uh, art has a way to speak to us in a way that words cannot. 
and I really hope that this film speaks to you. Video. You know, Sterling was armed and things escalated. Parents rallied before the killed. meeting, trying to sway the decision maker. Involved in his murder. Look at the video showing a deadly officer-involved shooting in Louisiana. Graphic body cam and dash cam video of an officer-involved shooting where an unarmed black teenager was killed by police.